Good morning everyone. Myself Vijay Lakshmi from Computer Science Department, Assistant Professor, Devanambal College of Women at Anamas. Today we are going to see the concept about mathematical analysis of non-recursive algorithm. Before I enter into the topic, we want to know about what is algorithm, right? Algorithm is a simple thing that is step-by-step -step procedure. So whatever we are doing, we need to do everything as a step-by-step -step manner, right? In day-to-day -day life, we are doing everything as a planned manner, no? In the same kind of way, in algorithm also, we want to know in a step-by-step -step manner. For example, if uh, my our mom want to cook something, some dishes means, what she will do? She just cut the vegetable for, before enter into the kitchen, she cut into the vegetables and make it for ready, right? Then while we she enter into the kitchen, she just switch on the stove, put the pan on the stove, add some oil and uh, some masalas then she add vegetables water in that kind of way she started cooking no the same thing in that algorithm we want to know how the cooking how the algorithmic process should be involved so in today topic we are going to see about mathematical analysis of non recursive algorithm non recursive in the sense the function doesn't call itself again and again so today topic we are going to find the maximum element value in stored in an array so finding the maximum element in an array in this concept we are going to find maximum element stored in the array and what is the value stored in that array of maximum value for example if we store the array sizes 5 I am just take it for example a as 5 that is the array size is 5 that I am storing 5 different elements in this array that is 21 31 45 25 12 so I am having 5 different values stored in array which holds 5 elements so our algorithm is finding the maximum element in this concept we are starting from as we know the array are, array are always started from the index from 0 to 2 n minus 1 right so the array index starts from 0 to 1 2 3 4 in such kind of way it will be executed so initially i am taking the variable name as maximum element because our question is find the maximum element in an array so i am taking the variable as maximum element initially it is started from the array size of 0 why, why in the sense array values index starts from always 0, 1, 2, 3. So I am taking the initial value of array is a of 0 to n minus 1 until n minus 1. In the sense 4. Array size is already told us a equal to 5. So the n minus 1 value is 4. So algorithm initial step is max element is a of 0 to n minus 1. So whatever we are doing in algorithm, we just give the input and we need the exact output right so in this question the input is array of 0 to n minus 1 that is the input and the output is maximum value what we have to do is the thing we expected is output maximum value we are storing the n number of values in that array no so we need to find the maximum value stored in the array that is called output maximum value we are going to find out using this algorithm <coughs> then max value initially i store what we have in the array of zeroth index i took it for maximum value initially i initiated this value to max val so max val holding the value of what is holding of a of zero so a of zero is 21 so in this index a of zero which hold the value initiated to the max val so max val is occupied by 21 so whatever the, the thing we are doing repeatedly we are using the for loop right so we are going to check continuously the values enter into the array repeated thing so i am using the for loop for i initially starts from 1 to n minus 1 already max value hold a of 0 that is 21 so the first iteration i am initializing i value to 1 so the if condition starts a of i greater than max value so for loop is executed uh, again and again repeatedly so the first time the for loop i value is 1 for example the first iteration i to 1 
to n minus 1. So, i value n minus 1 in the sense 5 minus 1, 4. Array value already we know 5. So, n is 5, n minus 1 in the sense 5 minus 1, 4. So, i holding the value to 1 to 4. The thing initiated from i loop 1 to n minus 1. That is 1 to 4 minus 1. So, the first iteration starts from i equal to 1. If a of i is greater than max value or not, it just check the condition whether the condition is satisfied or not. Once the condition is satisfied, then only it will be going inter enter into the loop. If the condition is false, it doesn't enter into the loop. So first initially check the first value which is a of 1. So in this kind, a of 1 is holding variable value is 31. So it's comparing the value of 31 is greater than 21 already max value holding 21 it just comparing with that 21 is greater than 31 or not so the condition is true because 21 is greater than 31 so it store the max value of a of 1 so max value next it is get us 31 so the first iteration is completed next the for loop should be executed again again the for loop is executed second time the i value is 2 so the second iteration starts if a of 2 in this array a of 2 value is 45 so next iteration it takes the value as 45 so 45 with the max value already the previous case max value stored as 31 so 31 is greater than or not so it just check the condition 31 is greater than 45 or not so the condition is true it is enter into the max value that is assigning the value to max val so a of 2 holding the value of 45 that is assigned to the max value of 45 is assigned to max val then the third iteration starts for i equal to 1 to n minus 1 so condition is true i value is 3 so a of 3 it just check the condition a of 3 holding the value of 25 so 25 is greater than 45 or not so a of 3 value is 25 so it checks check with the condition 25 is greater than or 45 the condition is false so it doesn't store any value into the max well that is a of 3 value doesn't store into the max well a of 3 value is 25 so it shouldn't save in the max well the next iteration started i equal to 4 so if I a of 4 equal to 12 so it just again started the condition if a of 4 value is greater than the max value or not the condition is false it's holding a of 4 holding 12 12 is not greater than 45 so condition is false so max val ha holding the value of 45 why we need to complete the entire array because the array is holding the value from 0 to 4 right uh, based on our array initialization if we initialize array value was 5 6 7 whatever the number it may be if we initialize the value of array we need to complete the entire array because we don't judge whether the greatest number located in which location right so that the entire array size should be completed with the iteration of for loop so the whole array size is completed until i of 4 we completed all the value so maximum value holding now is 45 in this kind of way we find the maximum value stored in an array so we uh, return that maximum value return that maximum value so we find the what is the maximum value stored in the array this is the right algorithm to finding the maximum value stored in an array so the iteration is completed but uh, <coughs> our main aim is to find the complexity so what is the time complexity of an algorithm in this algorithm we are using the thing that sigma uppercase usually we using the uppercase and lowercase i value initiated in lowercase and uppercases iterations starts from 1 to 1 right so we are assigning that iteration value here so uppercase minus lowercase plus 1 l equal to already we know 1 that is lowercase uppercase is n minus 1 that is we start the for loop from 1 to n minus 1 no so we are assigning the uppercase and lower case lower case l equal to 1 and uppercase is n minus 1 so finding the time complexity sigma of lowercase to uppercase 1 here 
upper case is n minus 1 lower case is 1 so minus 1 min plus 1 is cancelled so loss c of n equal to n minus 1 so the time complexity is o of n uh, we need to find every algorithm we need to find the uh, best case worst case and average case why in the sense uh, in some of the algorithm in this problem this is not uh, including any changes in the sum but some of the cases the best case and worst case and average case may be differ but here it won't be very very big uh, the thing is the array size whatever the array size we need to f f find out till the array size is completed right because we don't know where the exact location the maximum value is stored no so we need to complete the array size so the best case and worst case average cases own getting to be changed so this is what the thing about um, mathematical analysis of non recursive algorithm thank you class ulaga tharamana kalluri ungal ore devana yammal college for women autonomous bilipuram ungal idirkalam ungal kaiyil